Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson with Resurrecting Liberty and contributor for FreedomOutpost.com. I wanted to address some issues today that I think are very positive in a change for the way that we the people are speaking out. The positive steps that social media are taking and the positive steps to individual liberties that is going to be able to be changed because of it. Back in the day, mainstream media used to control the entire narrative. As we have seen in mass influx, over the last couple of years, social media has taken mainstream media by storm. They are no longer able to get by with the propaganda, the lies, and the twisting and manipulation of their stories like they used to. For that, I am extremely thankful. Because only by using our First Amendment right of speech to speak out, no matter which side you are on, no matter whether you're Republican or you're Democrat, no matter whether you don't affiliate, affiliate yourself with any party or you don't stand with one movement and one movement does, it is very important that each and every individual have a right to speak out, to have their truth known, so others are able to research, find out if it is true, or if they support that cause. Only by people speaking out, and letting their voices be heard, will we again be able to unite together? Will we be able to take back our union the way that it was supposed to originally be intended and that was full of liberty and freedom instead of tyranny and injustice? So for that, I'm going to cover a Washington Post article in which I find a very positive situation. The Washington Post covered what those press blocking Missouri protesters have in common with GOP candidates. Now it is my opinion that they shouldn't even have brought the GOP candidates in this at all. This should have been what those press blocking Missouri protesters have in common with the First Amendment and truth. Or, what the press blocking Missouri protesters are showing is they will no longer allow mainstream media to control the narrative. Ever since 2012 in the NDAA, the mainstream media has more has been allowed to propagandize the American people. They've been allowed to lie, narrate, control situations and try to manipulate the American people. People, we the people, are tired of it. Thus we use any different form, many, many different forms of social media to get the message out. Whether it be YouTube, blogs, Ustream, you name it, there is many different avenues of which people use to get the message out. And they no longer allow the mainstream media to twist, manipulate, chop up the things that they have said in order to make it seem as if it was something that they did not say. So let's cover this article. Right here are protesters. I'm going to play this video and then I'm going to go over the article. This is where the students kick out mainstream media from being able to cover their thing. You need to back up here with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the media. You need to back up. You're with the
Shout out. You need to please give them space. Do not. You cannot be this close to them. Please. Be close that. to me. What I'm saying is, no, you work. need to do that. Yes, yes, you are. A job to do. I'm documenting so what, this what, for national news. You can help me hey, hey. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I can. can. This is the first amendment that okay. protects okay. your right to stand here. Wait, protects wait, mine. Wait, you're, not, you're, not, you're not going to yell at her. So just calm down. Ma you're not going to. Okay, ma'am. She doesn't the want first you. They don't want you. Ma'am, ma'am, don't yell at me, ma'am. The first amendment protects your right to be here and mine. Okay, we protect you. We protect our space. There's not a law around that. There's not a law. How about humanity? A respect. Well, how about documenting this for yes. posterity? Please, sir. No. 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 Sir, I am sorry. These are people too. Yeah. You need to back off. No, there's no way. You know what? Back off about personal space. Back off. Please be still respect Back off. 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 They didn't want mainstream media there. Now, that reporter was a correct that he has a First Amendment right. Okay, I do not know if this was on public property or if it was on private property. If it was on private property, then that kind of, if they're asked to leave, they have to leave. Whether they like it or not, they can go to a public sidewalk and still take the pictures. However, the point of this video and the point of this conversation is simply this. People are tired. They're tired of mainstream media lying day after day after day, and they are getting busted in the lies that they do. So let's cover the article. In the 1960s, there were three broadcast television networks, CBS, ABC, and NBC, that slowly grew, adding PBS and Fox then grew more rapidly with the advent of cable. Your television probably has several hundred channels to choose from, but if you're of a certain age, you might not have a television. Instead, you might rely on the Internet, where there are a countless number of stations and a countless number of broadcast cameras. You have one in your pocket right now. The shift that has taken place on television and in the print media and in radio is like the difference between a music festival before and after they stop checking tickets. It is no longer the case that ABC, CBS, and NBC get to decide which things become part of their nightly newscasts. Decisions necessarily limited by how much time there is in a day. Instead, anyone with a story to tell can tell it. Witnesses to accidents, witnesses to history, and witnesses to this funny thing that their cat did. We've gotten used to that situation enough that a switch has happened. Do you hear that, people? A switch. Now we realize that being empowered to tell our own story means we don't necessarily need those three networks or any of those newspapers or radio stations to tell our stories for us. We can tell our, the story we want without passing through anyone else's gate, and importantly, without anyone else sanding down the edges or adding other context. A, non, a not insignificant part of the Republican presidential candidates lashing out at the media of late is predicted on that idea. Ted Cruz's campaign and Hillary Clinton's campaign, for that matter, would much rather have you follow them on Twitter and Facebook where you can get updates about what they are doing and about their policy proposals without your having to have those updates and proposals filtered by the Washington Post or CNN. When the Post and the news networks were the only way to reach a massive audience, candidates didn't have a choice. Now. To some extent, they do. I'd say more than to some extent. We've gotten sufficiently used to hearing directly from first-person sources that we now see more instances 
in which the first-person narrative differs from the story that is told by the media. Fans of candidates or followers of movements can see the addition of context or analysis as reflecting bias rather than objectivity. Instances in which the additional context or analysis might be unfair only heightens that suspicion. The confrontation between members of the media and students and faculty at the University of Missouri on Monday follows this same theme. When reporters tried to document a student encampment in the wake of the resignation of the school's president, Tim Wolf, they were physically blocked from doing so. The group that led the protests that ousted Wolf, concerned student 1950, determined that the encampment was a quote-unquote safe space in which students could, could converse and build from fellowshipping, as it said in a tweet, quote, that isn't for your story. There's been a great deal of conversation over the last 12 hours about whether or not the students and faculty were right in blocking access to the site. There's also been discussion of how and why members of the black community in particular might be distrustful of the role of media. See the series of tweets from the Post Wesley Lowry. But part of the discussion too has been about the contrast between the media's coverage and quote your story above and the story seen through the eyes of the protesters. Ellen James White tweeted, If journalists simply told the story, an activist didn't want the truth told. That would be different. Folks are just protecting themselves. Social media has given a new voice to both the powerless and the powerful, each of whom has a story to tell and each of whom would rather tell it in their own way. The role of the media is to tell the stories of others as fully as possible, a role which necessarily shifts how the story is told. The tension between those two stories is not new. The subjects of media coverage have always complained about the end results. What's new is that in many instances, there actually is no need for the media to be the conduit between the source and the reader which of course pleases Ted Cruz and Barack Obama as much as it does a protester at the University of Missouri. So on my personal note, I will say, I don't have to agree or disagree with their message. However, I do agree with them stopping mainstream media from twisting what is going on. Many times in mainstream media, you will find that they either completely falsify information and twist what's really going on. In example, the Bundy Ranch. You have mainstream media treating them as if they were terrorists, as if they were the attackers. And anyone who followed the Bundy Ranch knows that the ones who were the instigators the ones who were violent were the BLM. They had thrown elderly cancer uh, lady on the ground, were attacking uh, pregnant. All of these were unarmed people at that time. Attacking men, women, pregnant women. They had high uh, capacity of weaponry aimed at unarmed people. And that is why the nation gathered together and went out there to Nevada. That is also why there was no bloodshed, because armed citizens stood up and said no more. We're not going to allow another Waco. We're not going to allow you, mainstream media, to twist the truth, because there was enough alternative media through social media to get the live broadcasts out there to reach the people so the people could see what was really going on and the corruption that was going on. And I think each and every individual who was out there at the Bundy Ranch to cover that. Otherwise, the 
the federal government and the mainstream media being complicit very well could have made Clive and Bundy and his family seem as if they were the evil people that they were trying to portray them to be. So once again, I say good on we the people. I say it's been a long time coming. Social media outdoes mainstream media 20 to 1 because it is a power of the people. Even if you don't write and you don't share videos, if you find a video or you, or you find an article that you know is truth because proof has been given, share it. That is the power that we have. And when we share those things, and we spread the word. We educate. We unite our people. We strengthen our union. And we will strengthen our union. Thus, restore liberty and freedom for we the people. And getting it back to where it needs to be. The true. United States of America and not a tyrannical regime that has infiltrated and stolen through infiltration our real union. For now, thank you. God bless you for listening. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't. Each and every one of you, you are important. Your voice is important. And you are the difference. God bless you and simplify.